Let's start by understanding how to make a stunning photorealistic rendering. Rendering a scene creates a photorealistic picture that enables a client to truly visualize their final home. The photorealistic images are great marketing pieces that can be used on your website, in brochures, or for client presentations. Making a good image, however, takes an understanding of lighting, materials, rendering settings, and how they all work together. Let's now discuss how the materials in the room work with the lights. Elements in your drawing have materials applied to their surfaces. Every material has finished properties that determine how much the material reflects, emits, and absorbs light. These factors can affect the lighting in a rendered scene. Let's edit materials to understand the settings behind them. Select Edit, Material Paintbrush, or click the Materials Paintbrush button to any tab toolbar. In the Catalog panel, select a material group, then select a material from the list. Right-click and select Edit Material. The Materials Properties dialog box will appear. Put a check mark in the Display Settings Details option. Each material can have different material finish settings, which will affect a rendering. Texture Intensity. If the material appears too bright, you can alter the brightness so it looks more natural. Certain materials will need to have their texture intensity adjusted to avoid dark renders or washed images. Specular. Reflection that creates highlights on materials, making them appear shiny. Be careful not to make a material too shiny or it will overpower a scene. 15% or less will give a nice shine without taking over a scene. Emissive. The amount of light given off by a material. The more emissive a material is, the more self-luminous it appears. Usually set to zero unless, it, unless it's a light source. Give lampshades a slight emissive value so the shade appears to be glowing. Transparency. The degree to which a material is pervious to light. Like a piece of glass in a window is 100% transparent or a painted wall is 0% transparent. All of these settings will give the materials properties so they can interact with the lighting in a scene and appear more photorealistic. Test the settings with various materials until you find the perfect settings for your scenes. Click OK to exit the Material Properties dialog box. Here's a little tip. To apply new materials to elements in your model, select a Materials Applicator at the top of the Materials panel. Left-click on an element and it will then be painted to appear like the currently selected material in the Materials panel. To inquire what a material is in a scene, click on the Materials eyedropper icon and then left-click on a material in the model. The Materials panel will then jump to that material and make it current. Once the lighting and materials have been finalized for a scene, you can then start the rendering process. I hope that makes your envisioning your work one step easier.